My name is Kevin Danaher. I am one of the three co-founders of Global Exchange, which started back in 1988. We are a human rights organization that educates the American public about what's really going on in the world, and we do that through a diverse range of tactics. And one of the things we do is the Green Festival, or I should say Green Festivals, and that's the website greenfestivals.org. We do it in collaboration with Co-op America and the Co-op America Business Network. We get about 375 to 400 green economy companies, 100 speakers, about 10 or 12 organic vegetarian restaurants, diverse live music all day long, uh, lots of workshops, lots of how-to, hands-on. If you want to put solar energy on your house, you want to do composting, all these different green economy uh, learning skills. What people need to realize is there is a positive side to the environment being destroyed. What's happening is that gets more and more news coverage, it gets more and more scientific validity. The business community starts to recognize the fact that we can't keep going with the existing business model and you see capital start to shift in the direction of the green economy. Uh, just uh, in fall 2006, Bloomberg News had a cover story on green venture capital, talking about how the capital is shifting in the direction of the green economy, renewable energy, organic products, recycled products, composting. But it shows that green thinking and the perspective that we can make better profits saving nature than destroying it, that perspective is increasingly penetrating into the upper echelons of the corporate world. So our perspective in producing the Green Festival, and we're now in three cities, Washington, San Francisco, and Chicago, we hope to expand to more, is to say to people, look, you have a chance here to get in on the ground floor of a global revolution, probably the first global revolution. One of the revenue models that we see being developed uh, across the economy is people looking at the waste stream and finding things in the waste stream that can be turned into a profitable product. This fits in, that kind of innovation fits in with the whole fair trade movement, which has had traditionally a third world focus, a developing country focus, of linking directly third world producers of coffee beans, chocolate, tea with first world consumers. I think a positive message is much more attractive and will get us more mainstream people and we can accelerate this transition to the green economy. <laughs>